apologize, but I'm with Mama Bear. Here we are. And today is Girls' Day. The past two years, I think, or three years, I've vlogged on like this day. Um, so every year, my mama and I go to the Women's Expo. It's an event that is in Grand Rapids, and we've gone every year pretty much since I was in middle school. We've gone like forever. And um, so half of it, well, more than half, most of it's like a Women's Expo, but then there's usually like a, t a couple rows that are like bridal expo type things. Well, every year, they like attack me and they're like, are you getting married? When are you getting married? And I'm like, no, I'm not getting married. Um, this year though, I have a ring. So I'm not, like I am gonna get attacked, but I actually wanna talk to these people this year. So we're pretty excited. You actually have a date. <laughs> I actually have a date that we're getting married and I have a couple things we need still for the wedding. So I'm really excited. So um, yeah, we're gonna go to that. It's like right before, well no, it's like 9.18. I was gonna say it's right before nine, but it's not before nine. Um, it's right around 918. Now it's 919. And Mama and I are heading to breakfast first. We always go to the same breakfast place every year before the expo. It's a little bagel beanery shop. Um, I think it's a chain restaurant. I've seen other ones too. But yeah, we just go and get like some coffee and sandwiches and stuff before we go. And then we go and have fun. It opens at 10 and um, we're still a little while away right now. So we're very excited. And then after we're going to go do some shopping, potentially window shopping, potentially actual shopping, we'll see. I still need to get my wedding shoes. We're gonna look at a dress for mom to wear to the wedding. She's gotten some um, different ones already, but just not one that we both like love. So we're gonna look at some other dresses for her. So the big things that we still need are we still need a florist and then we still need either like cupcakes or a cake of some sort. So those are really the only like big things that we still need for the wedding. So um, those are the things that we're gonna focus on either at the expo or potentially after as well. So that's what's on the agenda. Here's our food, it looks so good. And I got an Americano, life is good. Headbands are. Mom and I are looking. Mama needs her reading glasses to look, but it's cute. <laughs> I don't know how I would do the wrap or the bandana. Hello, friends. So we just left the women's expo. I only vlogged like one quick clip while we were in there because. So, okay, Mama and I have been going every year since I was in middle school, like I said, and every year it's a women's expo and the bridal expo, like, in one place. Well, this is the first year that they did it just as the women's expo and not a bridal expo. And I'm like, seriously, like, we were so bummed because we were so excited to actually take advantage of all the bridal things. So there were a lot less, um, like, exhibitors or whatever there there were a lot less booths to go to overall and also they like closed down part of the building that it was in or like the room that it was in so it was just a lot smaller um and it was fine like we still had fun but it just wasn't as good as usual like it was definitely like the worst year we've ever been to so we were just so bummed but I got my ring clean, so it's nice and shiny. Mama got her ring clean too. And Mama bought like the ring cleaner stuff that they had so that we can share it and keep our rings clean. But my ring like looks so shiny now. I was like, all right, it was worth it just to get my ring clean. Um, but yeah, so we were kind of bummed because we didn't get to do any of the bridal stuff because there were no bridal people there. But it's okay. We still got to hang out together. Um, but it was really crowded too, so that was like kind of stressful. So we didn't stay as long as we normally do. We usually stay like a few hours. I mean, I guess we still stayed like a couple hours. Yeah, a couple hours. Yeah, we stayed a couple hours. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's actually pretty good. I, we actually stayed longer than I was thinking we did. Yeah, but usually we stay like probably four or three or more hours probably, because it's so big. It's like, you, it takes a while to see everything. It did seem small. Yeah, but it was smaller this year, so we got through it faster. Um, but yeah, it was very crowded, um, but it was fine. So now we're gonna go to some stores and um, look for those things that I mentioned at the beginning. So, it's still gonna be fun. We have the whole day now to just hang out and do some fun things. I'm still super full from breakfast. Are you full? I'm still full. I'm so full from breakfast. That breakfast was so good though. I love that place. And we don't have one of those by us, so we don't really go there other than when we come to this like once a year. So, anyways, we will check in later. Yay! Hello friends, long time no see. It is actually March 19 right now, so it's been a while since I vlogged. Let me quickly explain. Also, I know my makeup and stuff doesn't look good. I look tired, I know, it's fine. I just got done teaching all day, so 
cut me some slack over here. But it is March 19. Last week, I got pink eye. First, I got it in my right eye, and then I got it in my left eye. So I had pink eye in both eyes. I've never had pink eye before. It was awful. Um, definitely don't recommend. But yeah, with little baby bodies, not baby bodies, but first grade bodies all the time, I caught the pink eye. Um, so it was fine, but it took me a little while to recover. And then I've just been so sick lately, you guys. Like, it's been awful. So I'm finally starting to feel better, which is good. But then there was a stomach bug going around in my room last week. So I think my CT caught that. She actually stayed home today. So I subbed today in my classroom. And it was fine. But I did have just a couple behavior issues. Um, nothing major, but excuse me, but just some minor, not minor either, just some behavior issues though. And it was fine. It was just like a busy, crazy day. Um, and then also I had my last observation today. So my um, supervisor from my school comes in five times. So today was her last time that she came in. It was her fifth time. So I had an observed lesson and then I was subbing and just all this stuff. And it was totally fine. Like it was not a big deal at all, but yeah, it's just been crazy over here in Kim land. So I did want to announce in this vlog, I did get the job that I talked about in my last vlog, which I'm very, very excited about. I'm actually going to the board meeting tonight. So I had a total of five interviews for this job, um, and it's just district level right now. So I don't know what building or what grade I'll end up being in, but I did sign a contract last week saying that I will be teaching in this district in the fall, which I'm really excited about. It's the district that I graduated from and the same district that Melissa works at right now so it definitely feels like a blessing it's also the district that I live in so um, it's really awesome because like my kids um, someday will go to this not like necessarily this building that I'm in but it will go to they'll go to the school district that I'm teaching in so I'm really excited um, there were a lot of applicants and they chose three people for open positions that they'll have in the fall so I would feel very blessed to be one of those three and um just yeah it just feels like my hard work has paid off so i have a job in the fall and then also last week i believe it was or maybe the week before i accepted a long-term subbing position in my building that i'm at right now for student teaching once i graduate so i'm going to be doing that for four weeks i will be long-term subbing in the esl coaches room which i'm so excited about because i love working with english language learners um i don't know if i really talked about that on my channel but i'm very passionate about it so i'm so excited to be able to work in her room because she is phenomenal and she's having surgery so um she's going to be out for about four weeks so i'll be in her room for those four weeks and then for the rest of the time um that I'm like done with that in between that and then the school year being done I'm just gonna sub every day either in the district that I'm student teaching in right now or the district that I will be teaching in in the fall so I'm really excited about that I just have like some things coming up and I have um kind of like a future planned which is pretty cool so it's just been crazy though lately you guys between like being sick and then having all these interviews I've had an interview a week for the last five weeks um, and then just being busy planning a wedding and also I'm Melissa's maid of honor So I've been planning stuff for her wedding. So it's just been insane and very exhausting, but I'm totally, you know, scrapping by and making it work. So we're getting there, but I'm looking forward to life slowing down a little bit, hopefully soon. Tonight, I am going to the board meeting of the school that I am going to be working at in the fall, and they're going to introduce me to all the board members and just, like, publicly recognize me or whatever. Um, so I'm doing that tonight, but I already filled out all the paperwork last week and signed the contract and all that good stuff, so I'm teaching in the fall. Like, somebody's going to pay me to teach. Can you guys believe that? Like, it's just the craziest thing to me because right now I'm paying, like, thousands and thousands of dollars to be in a classroom, and I've always paid to be in a classroom, I feel like. So I can't believe this is real like I just feel so blessed and I'm so thankful and I've been praying about it so much and I just feel like all of my hard work and um, everything has just paid off so I'm really really happy but I wanted to show you guys really quick what I'm wearing today um, I already took off the shoes I was wearing but they were just cute little booties the same ones I wore in my engagement photos if you guys remember that but ooh, I just tripped over Jack um, this shirt is so cute it's from Shein and I'm obsessed with it 
Um, I think it's so fun. I wore it all day today too. It's really comfortable. And then my necklace is from Shop Lately. I've had it forever though, so I don't even know if Shop Lately like exists anymore, but I have it. Um, I did take off my ring. I always take off my ring as soon as I get home. I really don't like wearing jewelry, so it's like the first thing I do when I get home is I take it off. But don't worry, Chris and I are still engaged. We're still getting married. Um, also, this is a little UNICEF band. So it's kind of like a Fitbit. Um, the fifth graders in my building right now are doing a little competition to see who can get more steps. So I'm kind of cheating. I'm on one of the teams for um, my friend who's student teaching in one of the fifth grade rooms. Um, I'm on like her class's team so I can like get them some steps because I like to walk around a lot. So anyways, then I'm wearing these dark wash jeans from American Eagle. They're just jeggings that I literally wear all the time. They're kind of falling down because it's the end of the day, if you know what I mean. And yeah, that's basically it. So nothing too crazy. I will show you guys, though, a little mini haul because I got a couple other things from Shein that just came in the mail. I'm walking over to the office. Um, how do I want to do this? Maybe I'll just grab them and bring them out in the other room because... Why not? I just feel like there's more places to set my camera over here. So, this is kind of fun, right? We're just walking through my house. Anyways, so I got two other things from Shein. Super cute stuff. So I also got this red top, and it's a really, really pretty blouse, and it ties at the top, which I like. So I thought this would be fun for teaching. I love things that are comfy but look cute that's kind of what i go for when i'm teaching because you have to be able to like stand up and down in your outfits or they're not gonna work and then also i got this really cute sweater which i just think is really fun it's like long sleeve and kind of drapey it's like a houndstooth type plaid print so anywho i just got those and i think they're so stinking cute so anyways just want to do a quick check-in um, I don't really know what this vlog is going to be as of right now. Um, I'm thinking I'll vlog some more clips later, but probably not tonight, you guys. I'm so tired. So, probably not tonight, but eventually there will be more to this vlog. So, not sure when I'll see you next, but I will see you eventually. <laughs> Hello, sweet friends. So now it is Tuesday. It's March 20. And I just got back from teaching school. I thought I would show you guys my outfit really quick and then also just chat with you. So I'm wearing the little sweater that I showed you guys like kind of a haul of yesterday. It's from Shein. I will say though, it's kind of like scratchy material. So it looks really cute on, but I don't know. It's just not very comfortable. Like there's no, absolutely no stretch to it at all. And it's just kind of like, I don't know, weird material. So. I love how it looks, not really a fan of how it feels though, so that's why I was like, as soon as I get home I have to film this little outfit <laughs> clip because I want to change into comfy clothes. Then I have on this little like comfy workout top actually, <laughs> but it doesn't really look like a workout top, it's just like a cotton top, but it's from um, Yoga Box, I got it in a Yoga Box which is like a subscription service. And then I'm just wearing some pixie pants, burgundy pixie pants from Old Navy. I love pixie pants. I need to get more this summer. I am just obsessed. And then my hair was down all day. And then after school, I was working on sorting papers and cleaning the room and just doing all sorts of things. So I put my hair up because it was getting in my way. So um, it looked cuter earlier today, but now it's up. So today was a good day it flew by though seriously the day goes by so fast when i'm teaching like it's just crazy i feel like i can never fit in all the things i want to fit in like it's just insane the day goes by so fast and i always end up not getting to something i feel like um that i plan on getting to so nothing big like i get to all the big things i need to get to but i just feel like i always plan on like oh yeah i want to meet with so and so and like i have all these notes of things that i want to meet with so and so and talk about and i want to like confer with my students and like talk about like their writing and their reading and like all of their different things i want to work one-on-one -on -one with them but it's so hard to do that every day so it's kind of frustrating because I'm like I have this long list of things I want to do and it's just impossible to get everything done so it's fine like everything's going really well and I love teaching and um, the day just flies by because I'm having so much fun teaching and hanging out with my kids that I just like wish I had them for more time almost like I just wish I had a little bit of extra time to work with them because um, the day just goes by so fast like there truly are not enough hours in the day to get everything done so anyways I'm gonna change into some PJs though, and then I'm actually going to plan for the rest of the week tonight because on Wednesdays, um, Wednesdays are like my 
crazy class day. I have um, teaching all day and then I go straight to my seminar and then I have a class from 6 to 9 p.m. and it's like an hour away from my house. So it's kind of a crazy day. I'm always exhausted on Wednesdays. Um, so that's tomorrow. So I usually have to get all of my planning done for Thursday on Tuesday. So on Tuesday night, I plan Wednesday and Thursday usually. Well then on Thursday this week, Chris and I are going to a concert. We're going to Little Big Town. Um, so I'm not sure if anybody else in the area will be going. It's in Grand Rapids, but anyway, so we're going. Um, so we probably won't get back until like midnight, which is, kind of crazy because I teach the next day but you know you live and you learn and it's gonna be great he got free tickets through work so um, we want to go obviously so anyways it's gonna be a long night though or like just a late night so that's on Thursday so then I really won't be able to plan for Friday on Thursday because we're leaving pretty much right after I'm done teaching that day so I need to do lots of planning and prepping tonight. I'm so tired right now though. I stayed up a little bit too late last night. I just couldn't really fall asleep. And then I woke up at like 3 a.m. this morning and just laid in bed. Like I should have been tired and I like felt tired but I couldn't sleep. Like I just laid there. I wasn't worried about anything or stressed about anything. I was just laying there. So it was kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, so I didn't really get a lot of sleep last night. So I might take a really super fast power nap and then start planning for the night. It's like right before five o'clock right now. Um, and I just, just, just walked through the door. So I'm going to change, maybe take a power nap and then work on planning for the rest of the week. Wish me luck. Hello friends. So now it is Wednesday morning, the 21st, I believe. And I'm actually going to leave a little bit later than normal. It's this morning before school, and um, I prepped pretty much everything before I left yesterday, so I don't really have a ton to do this morning when I go in. So usually I leave at like 6.40 right now. At 6.45, I think I'm going to leave around 7 probably, so kind of nice. I have a little bit of time to relax, but I want to show you my outfit super quick. So actually, let me put you down here in the microwave. I feel like that shows it better. So this is a Lily shirt that I got off of Poshmark. I love Poshmark. Definitely check it out if you don't use it already. I'm not sponsored or anything. I just get all of my clothes from there basically. And then I have on some white pixie pants and I have on some sneakers for right now, but I'll probably change when I get to school because I have my nude flats at school. So I'll probably change into my nude flats or maybe I'll leave these on. I mean, they do kind of match, but not like the best. I don't know. Anyways, I need to quickly pack my lunch and then get ready to go. And yeah, hopefully it'll be a pretty chill day. I mean, I have teaching and then I have class um, at my school. So usually Wednesdays are really busy, but I feel pretty good about everything. Like I have everything done that I need to have done. So it should be fine, I hope. So anyways, I will probably check in with you guys later tonight, maybe, or tomorrow. So see you then. Hey there guys, so now it is Saturday. It's March 24, I think, or something of the like. I feel like my brows look weird. I might need to fix those a little later. I got ready like super fast because I'm meeting Jane um, in like five to 10 minutes for lunch. I feel like my brows look so bad, you guys. I apologize. I don't know what happened. I mean, I got ready super fast, but still. Like you'd think I would've looked in the mirror before I left. Um, Maybe that's slightly better. Anyways, it has been a week. You might be able to tell in my voice I'm sick again, which is very frustrating because I was sick for like two weeks. I was better for one day, and then I got pink eye in both eyes, so that knocked me out for like a few days. And then I was better for like one-ish days, like not even a full day, and I started feeling my throat getting scratchy, and I'm like, am I getting sick again? There's no way. And I'm pretty sure I have a sinus infection because I've had lots of sinus infections in my life, and all of this pressure is like concentrated right here, and um, yeah, it's just rough. Like I'm just so sick of being sick. I take vitamin C pills every day. I've been trying to eat healthier. Um, yeah, I drink a lot of water. I don't know, you guys. It's really hard just like being around the little ones. I feel like I'm constantly getting sick, so it's very frustrating. So, unfortunately, I am sick again. That's why I haven't vlogged the last couple days because I've just been feeling really rotten. Also, Chris and I went to a Little Big Town concert on Thursday, um, which was a ton of fun, but you weren't allowed to bring cameras in, so I didn't have my camera with me or anything. Um, I didn't vlog, and also I really wasn't feeling good, to be honest. We were there until about midnight, and like the whole time, 
time I was like oh my gosh I'm so sick but this is so good so it was little big town um, Midland and then Casey Musgraves and everyone was so good live so I had a ton of fun and then tonight I'm going to my friend Erica's formal for her sorority which is funny because I never even really went to my sorority's formals like I went to one ever um, but she invited me so I said yes so I'm gonna go there tonight um, but yeah I need to go probably walk to the lunch place because Jane is gonna be here any minute she's always late perpetually late um, so I actually left my house a little bit later knowing she was gonna be late and then she just texted me that she was gonna be late so <laughs> called it anyways I'm gonna walk over to the lunch place and then I will see you guys a little bit later hello friends I'm with Erica now hello. remember sweet Erica she's been in vlogs before we are on our way to her formal. Well, not really. We're on our way to her sorority house to go to her formal. We already went there once. And Check then Erica in. realized that one of her friends needed a safety pen. Do I have a safety pen? So, do you I not think have a safety pen? It's in my pen? pocket. Okay. So Erica, being the good friend that she is, decided to run out and get a safety pen. So that's what she did. And then also got some donuts here. We went to the family fair. Life is just good. I'm actually out of breath. Erica is a speed walker, you guys, let me tell you. And I was trying to chase her in like heels. If it was an Olympic event, I would take the gold. I think it is. Isn't speed walking an Olympic event? I don't know. I might have made that up. I don't watch I sports. Look into it further. Yeah. But anyways, we're going. Woo! Um, you have to tell them. Okay, so Kim doesn't know how to curl hair. Fun fact. And she curled mine. I did. Good. I can't see because of my coat, but people, it looks great. I feel like people assume because I have a YouTube channel that says like makeup by Kim that I would be good at hair and makeup. I'm really not, you guys. I'm really she not. She can't put fake eyelashes on either. I tried. I can put them on myself, but like I feel like not that often in my life have I needed to put fake eyelashes on for another person. You know? So, anyways, it's really warm in here. I'm sweating. Air conditioning. Anywho, so yeah, we're going. Woo! Yay! Love it. Hello. This is Kim. Hello. We're at Formo. It's very I feel chilly. Like this is not a good idea. <laughs> I, I feel weird holding it up. I have a pink straw. It's very cute. We're vlogging. This is my little. Her name's Madison. She's really cute. She looks like she belongs in a Disney Channel movie. She really does. You're really cute. You the first time I've ever gotten. Follow her on Twitter at. Underscore Madison underscore 21. Underscore. She doesn't tweet, so don't follow her. Perfect. That's all. We're having a great time, but we're hangry. Yeah. I'm really hungry. 